getting ready to go at it again after those sturgeon. I'm going to show you how your backyard gets prepared. Well, I got some bait. Got that big red worm, bloody lamprey eel in the jar. Fresh sauce, courtesy of our buddy Mitch, along with big red worm salmon roe. Heard people have got some fish on it. Haven't tried it yet, but it looks good. And right there, from the salmon I caught not too long ago, a fresh scheme that I'm gonna put into balls real soon. And of course, gonna hook it up with Casey's Custom Leaders. Some nice ones right there. Put on them balls and secure it with a bait button. That's all I basically need to go get me a nice sturgeon. Next step, gonna make me up some salmon balls and tomorrow morning gonna go searching for some sturgeon. backyard. Yep, it's the next day. We're going at it again. There we go. Got that fresh berries on there. Secured with that bait button. I got Casey's custom rig. Everything's set, just like I said. And we've already marked some fish and I haven't even thrown out yet, so that's a good sign. Well, time to get on that eel on my other pole. And let's see what we can do. We got some fish moving through. Some suspended, some on the bottom. Just hope we get them to bite. Okay. We were sitting there fishing for a while with some little striper bites and finally Mr. Sturgeon came through. It took a while. Yep, we were marking them. Right. Found a feeder. Found a row eater, huh? Yeah. Louise oh, running around. Yeah, angling up all the rods. All right, let's move around. Help this guy out. Okay, it's getting a little closer now. Got all the lines free. Clear some fishing rods. <laughs> what happens when you don't reel them in? But it's all good and still getting a good fight out of her. Bigger my last one, I'll say. I burned some line, by the way. Yeah. Looks like a good one. Stronger class ones. Come on, fish. Get much Made a good run. About 50 yards. While we were tangled up, that is. Making a little headway now. Thought we were gonna peek at him. Nope. 
shooting the boat and got skin shot off again. Beautiful keeper. Beautiful keeper sized fish right there. Look at that. Exactly what I was looking for. Yeah, we're gonna tag one more. Two frames. This is it. Okay, you know what's next. Time to get on in. Put it on in. Look at that. It's a big keeper size fish. Just what we were looking for. Alright, let's check them on out. See that mouth? Yeah. There we go. Right through there with the row ball. Owner hook, case is custom leader. Okay, time for the measurement. Okay, there's a tape. 56 and a half inches. Right on it, yeah. Right to the fork. Very cool. Nice big keeper for me. Got a couple buds that gonna be real happy. Yeah. Sure. Perfect size keeper. Very nice. Dude. Fairly thick fish too. Oh yeah. And look at those scoots. They look like razor <laughs> blades. Especially the little ones on the side here. Those. Yeah. Mm. yeah, I've been cut up by those. That's why we tend to put gloves on. There she is, 56 and a half inches. Perfect keeper. For me anyway. Keeping one more, I have one tag left, but I'm not going to be using that one up. So this is it for a couple friends, 56 and a half inch Pacific White Sturgeon from California to Delta. Well, that was our day. Slow day, only one sturgeon, but she was mine, all mine. Beauty, look at that. Tag's going to be Yep. Right Someone's going to be happy. For sure. Good looking sturgeon. Great one to heart. 56 and a half. Better than that 44 anyway. Yeah, it there is. There sure wasn't a whole lot of meat on the 44 to be honest. I think this one will produce a lot more meat. Good job. For sure. Good day. Yep. Got the fish we were after. And salmon row again. I'm cured. Well. We'll be back with the... Another one. Brought the fish home and are now cleaning it. And now we're on the stomach. Look at that, it is packed. Well, let's see what's in there. Baby clams. Lots so of far, them. baby clam. Yeah. Is it all baby clam? I bet. Let's see what comes out. Yep. Yeah. Oh, here's a bunch down here. This part. A feel bunch, I probably know they're. Yeah, they're all little clams. If you were to separate these, or rinse them off a little bit. Look at that. Oh, wow, look. Even little snails. Where do I see snails? Right, no. Yeah, look. Snail of some kind. There's another one. A lot of clams though. Baby clams. They love them. Whole bunch. I'm testing is that literally full of clams. So. Well, we just thought we'd show you what was in it. It's kind of interesting. It's good to know what their diet is at certain times of the year. Mm, clams seem to be the ticket right now. Nobody uses clams for sturgeon though. <laughs> you think we would, huh? We've tried it in the past. Oh well, a little interesting. Your backyard, another little kid.